Hey guys, welcome to your love reading for Virgo. This is going to be for June 2024. You're going to apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We are going to take a look at the person that you're dealing with, thinking of, where is he, what this person wants from you. And then we'll finish off the reads to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situations, switch the roles if you want. This could be with new love, current love, and ex. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective uh, Virgo people, not town into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below support me on there too. So Virgo, tell me about Virgo here. The person that Virgo is dealing with, thinking of, what does this person want from Virgo? What does this person want from Virgo for June 2024? Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for Virgo. For Virgo. We have the Seven of Pentacles here, Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy, Eight of Cups here. Whoever this is, this person's not really emotionally invested into you when it comes to this relationship, Virgo. I feel like this person's just looking for sex. Yeah, this person's just looking for sex here. Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Judgment card, Sagittarius, Energy. This person has a tendency to come and go as they please. I do feel like this is an on and off sort of situation here. Yeah, I feel like you, there's separation, there's reconciliation, there's separation, there's reconciliation here. You know, I feel like you guys try and work things out. But I also feel like Virgo, when it comes to situation here, you're feeling like you're wasting your time or that you're feel, feeling like, you know, each time you go into the situation again with hopes that things will change or things will get better here and never does. And I feel like this is the final straw here for you. Okay, the uh, eight, seven of pentacles here. Why is the seven of pentacles here? Seven of pentacles. We have the ace of pentacles here. Queen of wands and the four of swords. Whoever this is, I, I don't feel like this person is really looking for anything serious here. You know, I just feel like this person just, you know, one moment they feel like, okay, you know, they want to be with you, they want to commit to you, but then they don't keep their promises and then they walk off and then they come back around. You know, it's kind of like a bit of a mind bender here. It's really starting to affect you emotionally and mentally here too. We have the Five of Swords here. You know, this person's definitely playing games here. Yeah, this person's definitely playing some games here. Um, it's not showing here, but I also feel like, you know, um, you're dealing with a bit of a player here. Yeah, you're dealing with a bit of a playboy, playgirl here. And I do feel like there's a third party involved here too. This person walks away towards a third party thinking the grass is greener on the other side and then they come back around to you. And I feel like also you're playing the game here too. You're being juggled. You know, I feel like you're you're, you're hoping that this person will eventually choose you, you know? Um, so, you know, I do feel like the situation that you're in is not really that great here. You know, when someone here really wants to choose you, uh, what really wants to be with you, they don't put you in a position like this, you know? You don't have to fight for a position to be in someone's life. It just naturally happens. And I feel like someone here is pulling teeth, trying to fight for a position to be in somebody's life here. You know, and I feel like someone, if you're in that position here, Virgo, I feel like you deserve better, okay? What else do we have here for Virgo? What else does Virgo need to know? Look out for a work on when it comes to this love situation here. For June, 2024, sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for Virgo. We have the Four of Cups. This person has a tendency to get bored very easily here. We have the Ace of Cups. I do feel like this person, you know, I do feel like this person does care about you, does love you here, but, you know, I feel like this person's love is completely distorted here because this is not really true love here if this person's treating you this way. I also feel like when it comes to love here, I feel like this person gets bored. Yeah, uh, this person's energy is like very, very, very conflicting here. Doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. We have the Five of Pentacles. 
I do feel like when this person steps away, they feel lonely without you here. Um, you know, I do feel like this person misses this relationship. You know, and I feel like this person has a hard time letting you go. I feel like this person has a hard time letting you go, but I feel like this person cannot stop breaking your heart. Yeah, I feel like this person has a hard time letting you go, but they can't stop breaking your heart. It seems like this person just kind of like automatically or just naturally does this. I mean, they're just not conscious and aware that they're doing it either. It seems like whatever situation that you've been in with this person, it's just been really intense. And I just feel like you are having trouble letting this person go. Just keep in mind that the longer that you stay in the situation, the longer that you're suffering. You know what I mean? It just seems like this person has options here. Yeah, this person has options. We have the Four of Cups. Why is the Four of Cups here? The Four of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We have the Ace of Cups. Why is the Ace of Cups here? The Ace of Cups. We have the Nine of Swords. When it comes to love, I feel like this person gets really stressed and anxious here. This person really stresses out being in love or being in a relationship. Or that this person's scared to be in love or worried to be in love. A lot of people fear being in love because I feel like, you know, people just don't want to get hurt. You know, they don't want to, uh, you know, be vulnerable and open themselves up to other people because it invites, you know, you know, people to hurt them. And not everyone's like that, you know. And I feel like that. Feel like that's what people have to understand. There that there are good people out there. It's just that what is going on in your inner world. This is what you're attracting here, right? Three of Wands, the Death card, Scorpio energy, Five of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, the Four of Wands. And the Emperor Aries energy. In the Hangman. In the Tower Aries Scorpio energy. Whoever this is, it's interesting. I feel like this person has no intentions of ending the connection here, but I feel like it's almost like they're playing games here to see how you would react when you walk away from them. They want to see if you want to chase them or something like that or that they're trying to get you to chase them you know they're they're kind of like testing you to see like if you will do everything that you can to keep them around here's the thing uh, perhaps this person has options to test you to see how you would react when you truly love somebody when you truly are meant to be with somebody you don't have to play all these games and test someone you know it just is naturally there but whoever this is, it stems from their own insecurities here. And that's why I feel like this person's testing you. Whatever they're doing here, it's going to completely backfire here, uh, Virgo. Because I see you stepping away from this and walking away from this. Because you can't take it anymore. So Virgo, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.